Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing a comparison between the Mi 11X, which cost around 30k, right against the Galaxy S21, which cost around 70k. Did you hear that right? Yes, guys, it's a comparison between the Mi 11X versus the Galaxy S21. That means a 30k versus 70k. You might be thinking that this is a purely injustice, but guys, I want to prove you something that many people underestimate the Mi devices. Actually, they are good up to a 20k, but beyond that, most people didn't care about the Mi devices. But I am one among that, guys. But the Mi 11X changed my mind, guys. So the initial impress was too hyped guys because i really like the mi devices that means the main thing was the haptic feedback the in-hand feel the ui everything was i just uh what we call i just really like the phone very much so guys uh, let's get straight to the video so this, this is not just a direct comparison as you see in the galaxy s21 words or some other device this is i want to just show you that how much the mi devices have been improved actually i would say that it is so much improved i will show you by the examples and all so let's start actually i want to say some special mentions regarding this haptic motor on this guy is so well guys actually i can feel that uh, haptic very much actually if you compare the premium facts actually i could experience a near flagship experience from the in-hand feel and the haptic feedback you could see actually even tapping the well implemented in the ui the haptic feedback actually the motor is a really nice haptic motor so let's compare straight by straight so this guy is having a 6.67 inches of super amoled display and it is clock 120 uh, refresh rate and same goes with the galaxy s21 is also at 120 hertz refresh rate and both have full hd plus displays and uh, uh mi 11x is a 395 ppa and the galaxy s21 is obviously it's a flagship phone guys so it would be 421 ppa but there is not much difference guys but there is a surprising thing that's going over here is that uh, this guy has having a 360 touch response rate so that's a really nice and i really like the in-hand feel of the mi electronics actually uh it weighs at around uh, for 196 grams but actually it didn't feel that means even weight distribution over here you could see it it's done an even weight distribution and uh, meanwhile the galaxy s21 is obviously a compact phone it's so well fits in the hand you can see the in-hand feel is so nice and uh, the grams with 169 grams and all so let's check a videos on that both the galaxy s21 and the mi electronics because these two are uh, 120 hertz refresh rate phones you could see you could see that uh, both are really smooth guys because 120 hertz is enabled on both so they're both stunningly uh, awesome so i would just play a video right now so both are uh, qua that means full hd plus displays and one having a bit low pp than the other one that means s21 having a 421 versus 395 on the mi 11x so we'll just play a video so guys before moving to the video i want to show some settings that is dedicated to the mi 11x so in the, the display it has some a features that means a image engine so it have two features that means all hdr enhancement so that's a really a nice feature and then we have memc actually this is adding frame drops actually if you have in, you know, having a normal fps video of 30 fps and then it would be hype the fps to uh, something more by adding extra frames with the help of uh, a and this having an efficient process of snapdragon 7 uh, 870 so it would be capable of doing that too so that's uh, the memc technology so i have defaultly enabled the video toolbox also on to enable so these two features are on and meanwhile on the galaxy s21 the screen mode is set to be with that's the maximum that means available and uh, one more thing is that in advanced features we do have an option called the video enhancer mode so that's also turned on so guys the mi 11x on the right versus the galaxy s21 on the left and guys, I'm really observing really close uh, so that I could find a difference in between both. And uh, the thing is, I'm really confused at this point. And I think, uh, uh, guys, both are really sharp, crisp and clear. Anyways, you guys are the judge over here. And uh, both are really stunning, guys. Actually, both have the same fledged displays over here. And I the bit more PP is on the Galaxy S20 at 421 versus 395. But actually, I didn't feel that difference in the MI11. Actually, MI11X has done a good job in terms of calibration and all. Uh, you could see both are neck in neck in terms of competition. And I think at some areas, I even feel that the, that the MI11X is... Uh, 
a bit more saturated in terms of colors actually i would say let me go to another i know guys ah, yeah, it's almost the same yes guys no actually the galaxy s21 colors is a bit more you can see over here actually both colors are in different actually there is some sort of greenish and that means it's vibrant colors over there so you could see the green is a bit more vibrant than this one but this feels more natural and this feels uh, more like a sort of uh, that a image enhancement and all but i will give a tie in terms of this gun because both are really stunning in terms of display and you could see a very minor actually i would say very minor uh, that means the front selfie camera of 20 mp and uh, it's almost same as this of the galaxy s21 that's of 10 mp so 10 mp is shooter versus uh, 20 mp shooter so in terms of display both are stunning and let's check the audio quality first on the uh, mi11x it's powered by dolby atmos tv speakers So let me lower the volume and let me take the Galaxy S21. So guys. So guys both are really sharp in this video you can see exactly what i'm seeing right now so let's move to the other things and the next thing i was really impressed on the galaxy sorry the mi x was the x-axis linear motor this does the job great well then i would uh, likely do a gaming review between the exynos 2100 versus the uh, snapdragon 870 Lite drone and let's talk about the cameras a bit actually this is not a direct comparison i would show exactly which the features i am really impressed with. the display is really nice even if i compare it with the galaxy s20 not right I, sorry s21 it is just naked and so that's why i have uh, made this video and now going to the other things uh, this is powered by the exynos 2100 and this have the snapdragon 870 and both are 5g enabled and and uh, welcome to the specification this comes at 8 gb and a maximum to 256 gb and this one is uh, maximum at 8 and 128 and then moving to the cameras so that's one of the key advantage where the galaxy s21 have a great advantage that's the camera so obviously it's a flagship camera and you could expect actually i am okay with the uh, camera that means at this range but the thing i'm missing is ois so this is not ois so in terms of videos actually i just a quick video solution test and all and actually i was not really super most i was just okay not really super impressed actually i think it should need an ois stabilization yes does the job okay but not fine but in terms of this guy having a uh, 12 mb uh, main camera and then a 64 mb telephoto which is capable of 3x optical and 30x hybrid uh, zooming and then a 12 mb ultra wide while coming to this guy this having a 48 mb uh, main camera then having 8 mb ultra wide and a 5 mb macro and the macro this guy is really nice actually i took some uh, snaps actually i am doing a dedicated video review sorry a dedicated camera review i will show a macro shot is there yeah so this is a macro pitch we can have taken on this guy so you could see a shot on mi 11x you could see this one also so i am doing a dedicated camera review along with a gaming review on the mi 11x so stay tuned and subscribe guys and uh, before that let me tell you some sort of really specifications of both and this come guy comes with the, the ultrasonic finger this camera you can see the fast three two one and go and on this guy it's coming the normal uh, optical fingerprint scanner on the sides and you could see in three two one and so instantly fast guys nice responsive so i'm impressed on both and the front cameras that means the front uh, face recognition is done on great on both guys and uh, both having the stereo speakers you have already heard of and uh, in terms of uh, charging speeds the galaxy s21 having a uh, charging speed of just uh, 15 watt and uh, this guy is capable of 33 watts of charging oh so that's, so that's uh, clearly great guys means 15 watt in terms of the now wireless charging and 25 watt in terms of the normal charging and this guy is capable of 33 watt actually that does the job really fine the 25 watt is enough more than enough i would say in terms of samsung for 4000 mh versus 4520 mh so that's it guys actually this was not really a comparison i just show the mi 11x is really great but 
there is a tight combination guys because iq zero iq 007 is really that means the iq 7 is really nice so i'm planning to compare this right against iq 07 later later on so you stay tuned and subscribe to the channel guys so that's all and before that uh, i am doing a speed test with the next nose uh, 2100 versus the uh, mi lonex snapdragon 870 and i am dedicated doing a dedicated camera review uh, between uh, the mi 11x and uh, s21 and also a speed test and a gaming review of the mi 11x so guys stay tuned and subscribe that's all guys thank you